very good morning to you uh, Today is the uh, 13th of May 23 and I'm off to take uh, Tracy the Tracer for a service annual service getting done a little bit earlier this year uh, we're going off to uh, we're doing the Switzerland tour Little Fall and I in two weeks tomorrow we set off and so uh, the annual service is coming a little bit earlier I thought we'd get a service before we go um, so that's where I'm off to this morning I'm going to have a little look down here at Harvington Hall we've got a little bit of time to spare so I thought I'd just have a mooch while we're down here to pass it and mention it, I'm just going to have a, a quick look. Yeah, so where I'm going this morning, I'm going off to um, down to completely motorcycles in uh, in Worcester to get the service done. Arguably, it's, uh, I've done enough miles since the last one, so I should leave it till about the same time I did last year, which was June. Um, no, I think it was July. But I uh, say. So going on a slightly long trip so why not get it done makes sense I think so here's Harvington Hall I think nice to have a little mooch a walk of mooch here so we've got a church here I just remember how it all had a big chimney. But nevertheless, ain't this lovely? We might have another look on the way back. I'll stop and take a, a photograph. And it's two weeks tomorrow that we set off, 28th. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, the itinerary. Itinerary is uh, on the Sunday we head down to Hyde and we have an overnight in Hyde and we jump on the shuttle on the sun Monday morning over to Calais from Calais we head down to Metz and uh, Metz on the Monday night that's right, Metz on the Monday night, yeah and then uh, we carry on then down into Wilders will. Yeah, she's uh, just outside Interlaken. Uh, we arrive there on the Tuesday, and then we stay in the uh, stay in the, uh, the same place on the Tuesday night, Wednesday night, Thursday night, and Friday night. <coughs> uh, and then we come back on the um, we're back on the Saturday from Wilders will up to Met. A night in Metz, and then we had Sunday. We're in Metz up to Calais, back over. And we have another night in Folkestone, a Sunday night in Folkestone, and then we come back. Uh, on the Monday, so the Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday, we've got the three days there that we're going to be mooching around. Uh, hoping to do some of the major passes but not all of them might be open so we're just I'm keeping an eye on uh, I've got, I found a website that shows you the dates the passes open or are uh, expected to open um, uh, they're opening just before but at the moment they're staying around just before we get there so we'll see uh, so we'll probably just need a few alternative, uh, few alternate plans possibly. But that's uh, it's all planned, it's all plugged into the sat nav, and uh, just just waiting, uh, waiting for the time to arrive now. So this the tracer hasn't been out since I came back from Scotland in August last year so this is the first time 
she's been out since then. And I forgot what but you don't ride them all the time. You forget all the things you love about them. Uh, one of the things with this one being just how much I uh, just how much I love to uh, to ride it and the little idiosyncrasies that I love about it. It's, uh, it's a fun bike. No hippos here. It is a rather splendid day at the moment, looking to be uh, it's actually quite nice today. Yeah, there's no rain forecast today. I don't think there's any forecast for tomorrow either, so a very good chance we'll be out tomorrow. And the weather permitting, I might take the CCM out tomorrow. Yeah, I know why I love this bike. Just effortless in what it does. I've had uh, two years in July. There's a new way in for me, this one. I did set a uh, fun route on the sat nav there. I'm not sure this is fun. It's interesting. Uh, so we're in Worcester now. Got it right, sorry, so we can't really get it wrong with something, I'm kidding. But you're not me, I can get it wrong with anything. We're a bit early, so what we'll do is we'll just jump here.
Cheers, bud. Had the Tracer 9 serviced, annual service, 4,090 something miles she's got on an hour, and uh, heading home. And it would be rude not to go the long way home. Uh, the song there, isn't there? Super Tramp, the long way home. If you've got a motorbike, that uh, that song. It's quite meaningful to us because we regularly try to find the long way home. <laughs> uh, this friend gives us a chance to spend more time out on the bike. And uh, I just love the Tracer. It's such a wonderful bike. And, uh, and I say, the, uh, the great thing about having a choice of you know, more than one bike, very lucky to be in that position, is that you you uh, the experience is renewed a lot because if you don't ride one for a while you get back on it and you've got to get yourself back used to you know uh, the connection you have with that bike um, so you've always it's, it's nice to have that uh, newness constant newness is one for want of a better description of what I'm trying to say and uh, in terms of a bike for touring I don't think there's anything better than this one to be fair I just uh, when we when we did the NC 500 last year on it and uh, it was just flawless and uh, when you watch this video the Wales um, the Wales mini tour all the videos should have been up by then and this will probably be the the last or the last but one video before the uh, the, the, the series for the Switzerland tour kicks off. Oh, a bit of a slip then, and that's where the tracer comes into its own. That dealt in there again, grit in the road and the tracer just dealt with it effortlessly traction control roads are so crap everywhere they're either full of holes or filthy and full of grit That is uh, not good. That grit sat right in the middle of where you would uh, the bike's wheel would uh, end up. Similarly there. And here, look at that. Come on council, sort these bloody roads out. Over the bridge. Now, I'm going to turn right here, because I went up here the other week when I was out with uh, Paul Brian and I think it was Kevin and my GoPro decided to do a fast forward wobbly which was the start of uh, my relationship with the GoPro becoming somewhat fractious shall we say and, uh, and then it did it again a few times on future videos and I just I really have lost quite a lot of uh, confidence in the Gropo for doing for you just doing what the basic what you wanted to do when you wanted to do it. So I've uh, moved to the uh, DJI Osmo Action 3 
and uh, I haven't, I haven't uh, put a video up yet that's uh, showing this. By the time you watch this, there will have been. It'll be a trip uh, that Paul and I did down to Toddington. That will be the first video where I uh, that I captured using this camera, and it's, it's just. This uh, does what it says on the tin, it's reliable, it, it, it does what you want it to do when you want it to do it, and uh, that's it I think for me. I'll, I'll keep my GoPro 10 and I'll probably use it as a either a backup or a, uh, a rear facing camera or a rear rear facing camera, uh, but in terms of it being my main camera I think it's uh, just sheer reliability issues I was having with it, and probably for pay to that. You want to know that when you press the button, you're capturing the footage. Now this is a lovely little short stretch of road here. As I say, I wanted to capture this previously, but missed it because of the GoPro. It's just, uh, it's really nice. Again, what I would say to folks, you really don't know what's on your doorstep sometimes, so you haven't got to go miles and miles and miles to find something. Just go mooch. Just go out and mooch. You know, you could be, any could be in the Yorkshire Dales here, you could be up in Wales, but well, I'm probably 15 miles from home. And unless you sort of, you know, I wonder where that turning goes. Unless you actually just make that turn and go and have a look. I think you, uh, we all miss out on a lot of places. It's, there's nothing nicer, is there? I know, for me, anyway. Nothing nicer than just going for a mooch. an effortless motorcycle to ride this one. The observance of you will probably notice that I've changed my sat now. I've gone for the Zumo 590 to the uh, Garmin Zumo XT. And sort of. I'm going to put the other one on one of my other bikes. Probably going to go on the uh, on the scram, and I can just leave it on the scram then. Uh, and this one pretty much will stay on here.
So, what I'll do, I think, is I'll just say thank you for uh, joining me on the little ride, if you have done. Uh, as always, if you like the channel, if you like the video, give us a give us a thumbs up if you like the channel. Uh, please consider subscribing. And uh, comments, you know, please leave a comment. They are really welcome. And uh, I shall see you again on the video where I'll see you again in a few weeks time will be uh, Paul and I on the tour uh, down to Switzerland so as I say if you have enjoyed the video thanks for watching see you all again soon and as we say from my neck of the woods to the heart of it